Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and in today's Spin Tires video, we're going to be taking a look at a new mod, it's a Chevy Duramax, it's actually a, he claims it's an 03 truck, but the thing is, it's actually, it, it's got the LBZ front end, if it is, if it is an 03 truck, then it's got the LBZ front end, so, um, I don't know what the deal is with that, but regardless, um, it, Regardless, I love this particular front end. That's actually my favorite front end out of the Silverado, uh, uh, like, lineup and the Duramax lineup and everything like that. But, but anyways, we've got a couple of tire options. We've got the Baja Claws that you see right here. We've got, also got 40-inch Super Swampers, which actually, oh, those look really badass. But I'm going to run the truck with the Bajas first, then come back and run it with the, um, uh, with the Swampers. We have so many add-ons. It is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Like, it is insane how many add-ons we have for this truck. We have a flatbed, um, which is kind of weird, and it compresses the suspension, like, all the way. Uh, the roof rack we're definitely putting on. Overland oh, overlanding camper, supply trailer, small rack, tools, uh, welder. We need a bed. The bed will definitely help us here. Yeah, for sure. Uh, trail gear, light bar... Extra lighting is always nice. Uh, tools in the back or trail gear, whichever you want. I think I probably do. Uh, we could do a welder too. Um, let's see. The welder carries two garage points. Okay, so the tools carry an extra fuel capacity of hundred or 750 liters, 950 repair points. The trail gear is extra fuel, 150 liters, 500 repair points, two garage points. Then the welder is fuel capacity, 750 liters, 1,250 repair points, and then two garage points. So, I mean, I'm going to drop the, or we do supplies, which 700 liters, actually... Let me see how these look. The supplies actually probably looks really cool with the extra tires and stuff like that, or tire. Um, but it is a swamper, so let's see. The welder, the welder, that's literally like a full welding setup. So we'll stick the exhaust on it, and I think we'll leave the welder in the back, and we'll, uh, we'll set off and see how this thing is. Oh, right off the bat, I really like it. It's quick. It's quick. You know what? Oh, turn, I was like, why is motion blur on? was not not supposed to be on. I never run motion blur. But anyway, dude, I actually really like this truck already. It's got a lot of power. It's got a lot of, like, get up. It's peppy. I, the, oh, the headlights look good. Um, I love roof racks on full-size trucks. Is that weird? Like, I don't know. I love the way full- uh, I love the way full-size trucks look with roof racks on the top. And the thing is, when you put a roof rack on a full-size truck, it leaves you this massive bed uh, to stick everything else in, so it's a super practical thing to do. Let's see how it does climbing the hill. First of all, we gotta check the flex. See how it does through this little section right here. Oh, no problem. Well, kinda said no problem a little prematurely, but... Seems to be, oh, seems to be digging its way through just fine. Just fine. Stick it in high real quick, and let's see if it spins too much, or if it can make it to where, uh, it turns to slightly more solid ground, and we can- Oh, yeah! That, 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 that works, and it works very well. Actually, can we go through here? This is a nice little- it's a little bypass thing that you can do if- if it's like, you know, if your truck can handle it. And so far, this truck can actually handle the bypass pretty well. I don't think we'd be able to make the bypass with a trailer, but without a trailer, we can make the bypass seemingly without issue. Oh yeah, crawls right up the other side. Last little bit now. Dude, easy, it stayed in second gear and did that. That's super rare. For a truck to stay in second gear automatic mode and do that, that's that's pretty good. That's, that's actually a really good automatic mode. It's staying in third through all of this. That's nuts. Like, that's really, really crazy. Here, we'll go down to the left. Go down to the left and see what we can do from here. Oh, God. Is that an actual path? I don't know. I don't know if it's an actual pathway or not. Let's find out. I'm thinking it's like, oh, dear. Oh, God. That's too much. Way too much. All right, we'll rescue back to the garage. Rescue back to the garage, and now, uh, I do want to, let's see, oh, come on, 
get your parking brake off and your diff lock on. All right, I want to see the... Oh, dude, the overland camper. The overlanding camper is awesome. That's so awesome. All right, we got to tow this thing down the trail. I'm thinking about taking the trail to the left up here. I think... God, you don't really realize, actually, until you look at it, there's a lot of detail in this welding supply stuff and in the stuff on the roof rack. That's really good. You got a little pro, uh, propane tank up there. You got extra fuel. Um, you got what looks like probably water cans. and That's awesome. Dude, it shifted into second and stayed in second, going up a hill, pulling a trailer. That's crazy good for an automatic mode. This has one of the best programmed automatic gearboxes I've driven in so long. Um, I might actually just leave it on automatic, like, it's that good. There's very little hesitation, it, it hasn't done anything funky yet, like, it hasn't done anything to make me, you know, not want to use automatic mode. It's just doing literally everything that I want it to do. It does everything that I want it to do, and it just seems to go. Seems to go just fine, really. Oh my god! Like, how are you staying- jeez! How are you staying in second right now with a trailer behind you? Like, damn, bro. Staying in automatic, starting to crawl over rocks. Now we're in second crawling over rocks while pulling the trailer. And it still hasn't, like, it hasn't complained. It hasn't had a hiccup. It hasn't done anything. Well, a little hiccup there, but back down to first. I mean, that's minuscule, so... Let's see if we can find a way up these rocks with the trailer back there. If we can, without a winch, I'll be very impressed. Like, really impressed. Are we... Mm, you know what? I have another strategy, though, that I think will work. Back up a little bit more. Oh, we made it into high. So now... Oh, God. All right. We're using the power. And we're using the wheel speed. And it worked for a little while. It worked for the- oh, there it goes. It's working again. It's just gotta be, like, right at the right spot for it to grab traction, and then it will rip up the hills. Come on, find traction. Come on, Duramax, find traction. Oh, no, you've got this. Come on. Come on, where's your traction? You should have it with those Baja Claws. All right, here, we're gonna try... Low three. Let's see if we can work it up the hill from there. Oh, that was a big that was a big amount of movement. There it goes. She's really starting to move now. Low three, and it walks right up. And now I'm just gonna go back to auto. Because it's super like the truck is super comfortable crawling in auto with a trailer. Like I said, I I know I keep adding that little extra side note of with a trailer. But if you remember, actually, from with the, um, the M715, it, it, this is, like, the M715 would not, it, especially in automatic mode, would not do anything close to this with a trailer behind it. I mean, and plus, this truck finds grip in areas that it, you don't even find grip. Like, this truck finds grip all over the place. I mean, and even with, you consider the fact that it is fully loaded down with gear, and we're pulling the trailer on top of the gear. So that's like, that, that, that's so many things loaded onto this truck and it literally doesn't break a sweat and it just goes no problem. Up into the twisty section, a little bit of frame twister action. Will it be, whoa, okay. That's sketchy. I'm gonna, you know what? I am going to use... Yeah, a winch would be uh, a winch would be helpful, just to get everything back down onto its uh, onto its tires. Whoa, that's getting sketch. Whoa, okay. First time so far I've had to use the winch, um, and I probably could have made it up without it. I just wanted to use it because. I, I, I was a little sketched out about the truck flipping over and I didn't want the, I didn't want that to happen at all so um, definitely uh, definitely a little bit of a sketchy moment but I'm thinking it's it's it'll be just fine all right let's go let's go let's go let's go 
There she goes. God, this thing is such a monster, dude. And it doesn't look crazy either. It looks super realistic, actually. It's a it's a very realistically made truck. It's a very well, I don't know about the like the amount of grip or the performance. I mean, that would have to be that would have to be tweaked and tested, but. The actual looks of the truck, it looks very realistic. I mean, like, I could see an overlanding Duramax modded this exact way and looking badass. So, I, I completely support the way this truck looks. I, the looks department, they have got it down so well. So well. Little hill climb right here. Let's see what you got. Looks like we're going to have to go back a little bit. Oh! Oh! Whoa! The trailer flipped and then the truck went with it. That hasn't happened to me before with this truck. That's kind of weird. It was like the... Literally, like the trailer went and the truck was like, Okay, bye! I'm done here! So, real quick, just so we can test everything out. We're gonna take the camper off, put the swampers on it, take the welder out, and put the supplies in the back. We're gonna see how it does with these because these are actually... These are quite a bit wider. They, they look at quite a bit wider anyway than the... um than the Baja Claws themselves. So, let's run around on these for a little bit and see how they feel. Oh, it's fast and high. It's, I haven't actually shifted it into high on a straight road. I've only done short bursts of high going up hills. In fact, I know exactly where I want to take it, but I'm going to put it back into automatic because it's faster in automatic. And for how good this truck is on the trail, it's actually pretty damn fast, too. It's really good. Really good in the power department. Low three, wading through a little bit of a... Little bit of a bog. Nothing too crazy, but a little bit of a bog. Getting through no problem at all. They're still in automatic mode, and it's just... it. Oh, God. May have spoken a tad too soon, but we'll see. May have to either find a different line or crawl this one. Try it in automatic. Oh, it's actually... Dude, it's pulling it in automatic. It's pulling the hill in automatic. No problem. Oh, come on. Come on. Don't die out at the top of the hill. Please no. Please no. Come on. Come on. Come on, Duramax. You got it. Yes. Yes. Hell yeah. This thing is a beast, dude. Just rips hills. In automatic! I mean, like, that's the crazy part about it, is it, it just, it rips these hills so hard in automatic that, like, dude, I'm, I'm, at, like, there are some times with this truck that I'm in slight disbelief of what it's doing, but then I just gotta realize that, like, it just does what it does, and you have to just sometimes just accept that it's doing what it does, and you hang on, and you go. I mean, it's awesome. Found the line. Found the line again. Dude, this thing just finds lines everywhere. And by the way, these swampers are amazing for Muddy Hills. Absolutely amazing for them. But if you... Whoa! And it's gone. Wow. Wow. Really? Well, if you guys enjoyed this mod test and review, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comments down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel and want to see more videos like this every single day, don't forget to click that subscribe button. And also make sure you click to be notified whenever a video goes live. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you all later.